Hey guys, Panda checking in once again from the Garage Gym. Today is October 17th, 2016. It's a nice cold day out here in Southern California. Um, it's already fall, halfway through fall. I uh, wanted to guys, you know, kind of bring you guys an update video on what's happening with me and my gym. Um, I know it's been a while again. Um, the reason that I haven't been really putting out videos as much as I used to is the fact that I started school. Um, I haven't been in school for a good five, almost six years, and um, I just finished my first semester. I'm kind of in my fall break as we speak, and um, you know, it was kind of, it was definitely taxing in terms of my schedule, but I appreciated uh, everything I learned, and I liked the fact that I have a little bit more structure in my life. Um, I took five to six years off um, just to focus on kind of, you know, my, um, my work, um, real estate and uh, other ventures in life other than education. I've always been kind of a rebel when it comes to education. I thought that um, I was able to uh, create so much um, progress professionally without uh, a four-year degree. You know, I was able to amass my wealth and everything like that. But, you know, as time goes on, um, you get older and you realize that you, there are a limited window of opportunities to do things and certain things in life. And I always recommend, um, you know, like to, to do the best you can and uh, to do the most. Um, you know, why not? Why not get a four year degree? Why not get a master's degree? Why not aim, aim higher than what you already have? And that's kind of what I'm doing. So a little bit about that. Um, I start school again in about a month. So I have a little, uh, a little, br little breather here. I should be graduating in um, the summer of next year, if not the fall, if I take a break. And I'm going to the University of Texas. So for my viewers who live in Texas, um, um, you know, that's, it's, it's cool because I have to go out there and graduate eventually. I'm going to be, and I've never been to Texas, but online schools are very convenient, I guess. Anyways, um, as for two days workout, as you have seen, I've done some stretching. I've done some incline benching. The ultimate goal for today's workout is to get a good pump um, to work my skinny, skinny ass uh, back into getting a decent bench. I'm about 180, 179 pounds here. Um, and I really can't classify myself to the same strength standard that I used to before when I was 220 pounds and, uh, you know, moving 300 pounds on the bench or whatnot. Um, I'm 180 pounds, um, benching close to 280, so I'm, I'm fairly happy the fact that I can move up to 100 pounds more than my uh, body weight. Um, the, I feel as if the lighter my body weight is, the more important um, the ratio of body weight becomes in terms of strength gains. Say, before I used to squat 500, deadlift 555, um, that's almost uh, triple my body weight as we speak at the moment before I was like double so you know what I mean like um, it, it, it's it's also it's also relative strength is definitely relative and this is it's definitely something that I am um, realizing more and more now that I am at a lighter load lighter weight also being lighter being skinnier being healthier all in all makes me feel a little bit more um, you know, I feel so much holistically, I feel a lot better moving around, waking up with less pain and stuff for that matter. I've been receiving comments on my videos asking, um, you know, I've been I've had I've, I've had I've been working out for over a decade now. Um, what gains have I made? Am I better than I was 10 years ago, five years ago, two years ago? And ultimately, you know, time moves on. I'm not in my early 20s. I'm not in my late teens. I'm in my early 30s, basically. I'm 30 years old now, and my goals have switched from powerlifting, Olympic weightlifting, to more of health, fitness, um, and uh, something to that to that matter. I really can't be comparing myself to anyone else. The only person you really can be comparing yourself to is yourself, uh, who you are yesterday, and uh, who you want to be tomorrow. Um, personally, I feel like I am doing so much better than I was when I was um, when I was stronger. I feel better. I think I look better, but I'll let you guys be the judge for that. And um, yeah, never satisfied. Always hungry. Always trying to do better. Always have goals, guys. Um, I noticed that every. <laughs> I will, sometimes I watch some of my videos 
from a few months ago, a few years ago, and I noticed that my goals are, you know, they're organic. They're always changing. I'm always trying to do better in something else. Maybe it's the fact that I am so, um, I have a short attention span or I can't make up my mind or I get bored real easy, but always have goals. You know what I mean? Like for me personally, I always have, I've always had the goal to, um, you know, keep it simple. Also always had the goal to be healthier, um, feel better, even though that is, that is such a over encompassing statement to be healthier. Um, I, you know, as long as you have that, that, you know, that blurry vision ahead of you, um, you, you're kind of always going in the right direction. And I feel like that's, that's exactly what I'm doing. I've always had, had that in every facet of my life. I always want to do better. Um, and, uh, yeah, as long as you're going up, not down and you're satisfied and you're happy, you're genuinely happy of where you're going. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, so here's my, um, also I'm, I did decided to do some cleans today. Another um, exercise that I felt that has taken a hit from my weight loss. Uh, my working weight today was about uh, 185. I just stuck to 185. I haven't, I didn't really want to push it anymore. Um, also the fact that I'm working out, uh, when I do work out consistently, it's, it, it's more on the fact of uh, on a daily basis, maybe five, six days a week. And um, really can't be maxing out every day like I used to when I used to work out three days a week. I enjoy my time in the gym. I spend maybe 45 minutes to an hour a day in here. Um, definitely only, which is about 4% of your day. So you really can't be complaining of the time you spend in the gym. Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely like being in the gym. I like being in, um, working out with my friends at uh, Globo Gyms. I like just the uh, the atmosphere and the, uh, the level of happiness it brings me. I've been working out consistently with my brother recently. Um, you know, I'm, he, I've known him for 30 years, so I might as well, uh, you know, work out with the person that I know the best and, uh, and trust. He was the one, he was one of the first people that actually showed me how to work out when I was a lot younger. Um, he was two years old. He was a senior. I was a sophomore in football and, um, respectively, I believe that he was the strongest guy in football and I was also the strongest guy in my football team. Um, I played left tackle. For your information, I was about 235 pounds back in my uh, high school days, which is um, another reason where, you know, a lot of my, my uh, base of strength came from. Well, that's a story for another day, guys. Kind of went, you know, on <laughs> 10 different tangents here. Uh, I would like to thank you guys for watching. I hope this uh, video helps motivate you into hitting the gym today and uh, definitely lifting something heavy. I appreciate all you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for subscribing. Um, and I do hope to see you guys next time in the next video, which should be up pretty soon. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy and uh, peace out.